Now, switching from augmented reality to the world of real traffic, there's been a sea change happening in the world of on-demand transportation in the past few years. And we noticed that several of these businesses used our Maps API products to build products that weren't really fully meeting their needs. So we decided to go deep and build a ride-sharing solution in close collaboration with some of the most disruptive companies in the market. Our solution helps address pain points like ensuring convenient pickup points, fastest routes, accurate ETAs. And it also helps these businesses optimize their fleets so they can better manage driver supply and be responsive to rider demand. And as many of these businesses evolved from transporting riders to providing services, we're evolving our solution. So you can get sushi delivered to your home, or if you're in Indonesia, you can even Hello, Gayatri. Didn't you expect me over here, did you? <laughs> Hi. Um, my name is Ajay Gore. I'm a group CTO at Gojek. Um, Gojek is Indonesia's largest transport, food, payments, and lifestyle startup. We started in 2015 uh, from 5,000 orders per day, and now we are doing around 3 million orders per day. That means we have to take around 2.5 million customers every day across Jakarta. Which is, more, which is like thrice the Jakarta's public transport. That also means that to get this scale, today we stand around 80 million downloads. We have around 3.5 million customers on us every day. At any point of time, we serve 2.5 million customers, figuring out various food, demand, on demand ride sharing, and transport services. And that also means that Gojek today is the single market largest food delivery application in the world except China. At core of it, what it means is that we have to match the right driver with the right demand of the food and product. Whether it's carrying a human across, whether it's sending a package, whether getting a, your lost wallet from home, or whether getting your food for your, home, food for your lunch, all these things has to happen within no time. Google Maps, at the core of our location engine, helps us figure out the ETAs, the route, figuring out the right driver on the right side of the road. One of the biggest problems we have, when you are off by, say, five meters, you can be on the other side of one way of five kilometers, and you can be reaching in 25 minutes instead of five minutes. And that is something very, very important for us. Given all this stuff, Google Maps, with the routing and ETA and route optimization, help us provide the better and, not better, and better services for our customers. On the other hand, when you look at a million drivers, 100,000 restaurants, 2.5 million customers every day, and having a 500,000 food deliveries going across Jakarta, it also means that we need to make sure that we take care of this data and the demand and visualize it better. For example, we do a driver ping every 10 seconds. That means we do 6 million pings in a minute. That means we do 8 billion pings in a day. That is just driver pings. If you look at the scale and if you look at the customer interaction, we store around 4 to 5 terabyte data every day. How do we tell our driver where is the demand? How do we tell our driver what is the right way to go? All this stuff is not possible if we don't have tools like BigQuery, Cloud Dataflow, Google Cloud Storage in our arsenal. In the in, in last two years, we have been working very closely with Google Maps team and Google Cloud Platform team. And what has happened is, over the period of time, we have been able to realize new frontiers and new possibilities in terms of product impact and in terms of uh, customer impact so that we can deliver right products to our customer and right features to them. In my last 20 years of experience, one of the things which I learned is technology is the most effective way to challenge the impossible. Who thought that a small startup in Indonesia three years back, which is doing like 5,000 orders, will do a 3 million orders, and it will be still the number one app for transport, food, and everything else? But if you want to challenge the technology in the most impossible ways, you need to have right intent, positivity, and most importantly, very nice partners. 
for us, Google Maps and Google Cloud Platform have been that. So thank you for that, Gayatri. And I think I should get going now, because SF traffic is pretty bad. I should get my lunch right now. See you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>